Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. We are Beauty and the Beast, and today we'll be presenting to you our recruitment plan for Oracle. So our goal of our proposal is to expand uh, Oracle's pool of applicants and to extend our reach into Baylor's student population. We want to really focus on juniors and seniors in particular. And we also want to just increase brand awareness for the students um, by increasing on-campus engagement. I'll be honest, coming into this year before the semester started, I, didn't, I knew about Oracle, but I did not really know what they did. And throughout the semester, I've learned more about Oracle, and I've learned more, and we've learned more about their class O program. And we'll be able to tell this plan will help lay out the plan for Oracle's class O program. Here on this slide, we have a recruitment plan timeline that we will get more in depth on. Um, it has a list of events and it, which month it occurs in, and we also have our long year and year round recruiting tools. So in our first month of August, we will be having a welcome week bag and raffle. And this welcome week bag will be handed out in the basement of the sub at a table and will be available for any juniors and seniors that are considering working for Oracle. And uh, basically they'll just um, receive a stress ball with Oracle's name on it, a pen, and a flyer with the list of events that they'll be going to throughout the year. Also we will have them, we will give them an opportunity to sign up for emails to, just to know about the upcoming events that we not have on the flyers and just to learn more about Oracle's class up program. We will also have a, a fun game. We will have a raffle. We do not know the prize right now because Oracle cannot give out any gifts, but this will just be a little fun event for people to participate in. There will be two Oracle employees on tap um, to answer any questions. In September, we will have a football watch party, and this football watch party will be in the Foster Business School in the business atrium uh, on one of the big screens. It's gonna attract a wide variety of students that are not just there um, just because of their major. Um, it's gonna be more on interest in the class up program. And the students can exchange contact information, or they have to exchange contact information in order to be admitted. There will be pizza there, on, that will be on Oracle's check, and it'll cost $70 for snacks and drinks as well. And there will also be a little information session during halftime for Oracle to answer questions, and, uh, and they'll also give students opportunities to network with uh, Baylor students and Oracle employees. So Oracle's also gonna have a, a social for interested um, candidates to come out and get to meet with the HR, maybe some other professionals and other professionals from Oracle, get a chance to hear about what Oracle's offering. It's gonna be a common ground social. Uh, it's gonna cost about $130 for coffee and then sleeves that will go on the coffee cup uh, for common grounds to give out while during the social event. There's gonna be fun little games, kind of a more informal uh, session to be able to network and get to know what's really happening, get to ask questions. Uh, we're trying to get uh, students interested in the class up program to get to hear more and really get more of an informal session to learn more about what is offered through the Oracle Class Up program. In November, we're going to have a, a meet and greet with alumni that have come from Baylor uh, through the Class Up program to tell them about the experiences, how they were prepared for uh, the Class Up program, and to hear all the benefits from a former Baylor student who can tell them more about, hey, this is what happened when I was in your shoes, and this is why this is a good opportunity for me. It's networking that will allow uh, for more close personal uh, connection between some uh, some employees that currently work for Oracle. Okay, so if you've been here at Baylor at all, you know that one of our biggest student events is Dr. Pepper Hour, and it's something that's highlighted for everyone from freshmen to seniors, although it is more oriented usually towards the freshmen and sophomores. And so that's every Tuesday from 3 to 4 p.m. in the Barfield drawing room, so there's a lot of flexibility in the time, but we picked January because January is around when students are, if they haven't already spent the fall looking for a job, January tends to be the starting point when they're starting to look at the different companies available to them. And so that's why we picked January for this event. And it's a very popular event and it helps get all different majors and different grade levels and it's just a good way to have an informal opportunity to meet with more students and really 
network with them. So, and then in February, we have a one year Q&A lunch, which essentially is a lunch event where Oracle can bring current class of employees that have been in the class of program for a year and they can come and have lunch with the top class of candidates for this semester and talk to them about any questions they have about working, any questions specific to the class of program. And it's essentially similar to the dinner that Roxy would take students who previously that were top candidates, but we wanted to open it up and include the other employees so that they could get a more in-depth and off-the-record view of what it's really like to work in that specific program. And so it'd be the top seven applicants would be invited to that. It would cost about $300. So in March we'll have a sales competition. It will be focused around a role play selling actual Oracle products to give uh, the <coughs> give the applicants a chance to see what's going to be like when they're actually in the role as an Oracle employee to get some experience to see what that's going to look like. As well as to give Oracle some insight as to what these uh, applicants are actually capable of right now, where they get an idea of where their skill sets are and the potential that they could have besides that uh, in an interview session, so they actually get to see them in action. Uh, this is a great benefit for both sides, and uh, to make this work uh, run more smoothly, um, they'll partner with Delta Sigma Pi, which is a business fraternity here at Baylor, and that's, they have about 100 members, so it's a pretty good size to be able to operate. They'll work as the buyers in the role play uh, <coughs> session, so they'll be given instructions on what to look for, uh, what, how to challenge them, and to different questions and inquiries to ask uh, so that they have an idea of what this is going to, of how to make sure that this is going the way Oracle wants it to look. So it'll get that insight, and then it's going it, to, it, it'll cost some, about $100 to be able to produce, uh, but it will be, it happened right here at Foster, so in the team rooms, so it's not really a huge problem, you just use Delta Sigma Pi, they can easily reserve all those rooms for when it needs to happen. And then, um, the winner of the sales competition, it will be determined by whoever can sell the highest dollar amount uh, in their role play. So that will end up being, um, they'll get a shout out on the actual Oracle uh, Twitter. Hey, congrats to uh, John Smith on his uh, performance at the Baylor uh, Oracle sales competition on the actual Oracle Twitter and diff uh, different social media. survey and of 100 students that were surveyed, about 64 said that they frequently look at the bulletin board to see what's going on on campus. And the bulletin boards we're referencing is like the ones that are located around Foster and the sub. And this is a good way to increase campus presence with maybe some students that don't really like to necessarily go to all the events but are looking to see what's there for them. And so our plan is to have Oracle advertise on these bulletin boards so students who may not be aware of Oracle are being notified of their events. And in order to get on the bulletin boards, the uh, flyer just needs to be approved by campus uh, recruit, campus services, I think, right? Or career services. Career yeah, career services. And they can work with the contact there that we posted in the proposal. So Oracle currently has a mentorship program for the people that choose to go forward with their application with Oracle and want to work for Oracle. And so we've rebranded it as Bear Buddies. And the biggest thing that we've realized about Oracle is that their training program is phenomenal. It's an excellent program that their rivals just can't compete with. It's five weeks of training. And that's something that wasn't really highlighted in any of the flyers or information we could find about Oracle. And so the mentorship program is something that we want to be highlighted more during the recruitment process so that students are aware of it because having a mentor really is going to help students and especially students that aren't sales majors because it's gonna make them feel more comfortable about moving into that role. And so, yeah. So the major selling points of this is that each new hire is gonna get a mentor, so it's someone in the company that can help guide them into their new and first job. And it's preferably gonna be a Baylor alumni so that they've gone through the exact process. And it's also just gonna be another source for advice and answers beyond Roxy. And another thing is that a lot of students choose Baylor for its close-knit community and for the small pool of people that you get
get to know really well. And so having this mentorship program is going to imitate that close-knit community to me and give Oracle another advantage over other competitors. So this is the, all the, the Baylor Hire, Hire Bear or through the career services has uh, social media is on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and so the idea of this is to take over each of those social medias on some different days. Uh, this is an example of what it could look like for Twitter. Hey, tweet your, your questions using the hashtag, like, ha uh, ask Oracle, um, and Oracle will be able to, using the Baylor Highlighter Bear, Twitter will be able to answer any of those questions um, so you can get, again, a more informal look at what Oracle's doing, and people can see that and say, hey, this is, looks kind of cool, I wonder how I can get involved in this. Um, and then there will also be a Facebook or Instagram Live video, uh, so you can just show off the campus and show people, hey, this is what a normal day in the life of an Oracle employee is going to look like. So you can highlight the class of program and actually get a visual of what that's going to look like. And this can happen uh, away from Baylor as, as well, so it gives that advantage of being able to stay at, in uh, your campus in Austin and be able to still communicate with everybody here at Baylor uh, in a more informal setting, get an idea of what's going to look like for the class of the program. So in order to keep in contact with students, we've got a few different strategies that we're going to implement um, in order to keep in touch with everyone. So um, we're going to do use a combination of an email list and also a uh, text message service. So what we have is we found this app that will send out texts to all the candidates that we want them to receive the text. and they will not all be included in one big group text. So that's kind of a big benefit and something that's it would be tedious to do on your own without the app. So we're going to keep in touch with students um, via text, let them know when there's upcoming events, upcoming deadlines, um, just general quick brief alerts to let them know what's going on um, at all times. Uh, the way that we're going to give them most of the content and resources is going to be via email. Um, so we'll have an email list go out um, to let everyone know when events are, what deadlines are um, approaching, and also um, how they can find out more information about what's going on, uh, about Oracle itself, and opportunities through Oracle. Um, so we want to approach them via combination of the informal uh, text messages and the more professional email. So another way to kind of increase excitement surrounding Baylor's Class Up program is to create a Snapchat account. Um, we want to create an account to um, kind of lets potential clients know that, hey, Oracle's a great, fun place to work. And Oracle offers these great opportunities for you to have fun um, in beautiful Austin, Texas, because and we get to show off Oracle's beautiful campus in Austin on Lake Lady Bird um, and just kind of increase excitement. So we also want to have an article published in the Baylor Lariat um, to bring spot, uh, to shine light on a successful grad, Baylor grad, um, who's participating in the Class Up program. Um, we want to highlight their uh, impact, the impact that Oracle's program has had on them both personally and professionally, um, and show all the resources that Oracle's given to them and kind of talk, talk uh, in favor of the program and just kind of brag about it more or less. Um, the purpose of using the Lariat article is to reach a wider audience, um, and the main kind of target is uh, communication, communication making. So the goal of this whole proposal and is to uh, increase the applications for the class of program by about 20% at Baylor. Um, we also want to increase the average GPA of our applicants and um, future hirees. Um, we also want to increase the attendance at all the Oracle sponsored events, um, including the career fair, our info sessions, um, anything like that. And we also want to increase Oracle's partnership with the Hank Hammer School of Business here at Baylor. Um, through programs like Delta Sigma Chi and also through key professors who offer um, resources for Oracle on how to reach certain students and stuff like that. If you have any questions, please let us know.